What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to JK Just a Podcast, your hump day helper. Grab your headphones because this is definitely not safe for work. All right, what do you want to get into, man? Well, I was saying, like, you you have this nice new computer. How, how long have you had it? A year and a half. Okay. It's I, not that I think I've had my computer for maybe the same amount of time. I But it's like... Is this the one you built? I built this one. But, like, after you spend all that money on something, you really put a lot of time and effort into it. And rather than just picking it off the shelf, you're like, I'm going to be really careful. And there will be no pornography on this. <laughs> None. Really? Literally zero on my computer. Zero. Wow. Min- zero. It's done. It's my old my laptops life. I can't even start because they're so <laughs> <bogged down. laughs> My old before I got into the Mac stuff, what my my last PC I had was a Sony Vio. Ooh. And I wouldn't after I think a couple months after I got my MacBook, it wouldn't start. It was so bogged down with viruses and por- <laughs> with from porn. <laughs> oh. Man, dude. <laughs> That thing is even, clogged. Even now, like my old MacBook that I still have, it'll turn on, but it needs to be plugged in. Dude, that's clogged like a frat house bath drain. <laughs> Good old agit pie. An agit pie. <laughs> a shower drain jizz clog. <laughs> Ooh. But no, yeah, it's pretty 90 bad. seconds in, guys. We already got our first gag of the day. Uh, I heard this the other day. Um, Play it on me. Okay. 10K. For every day you don't jerk off, how long can you go without it? Ten thousand thousand dollars for every day. Yeah, man, I'm a different kind of beast. And there's one when other, there's that many bands involved, I, it can be it's pretty easy. Yeah, I think to uh, not do it. Yeah, I think there's yeah. When it comes would, to would money, you, there's would a, you forfeit it if like? Because I feel like every guy in the morning wakes up with their hand near that area. You probably wake up and you're like, oh, I'm already touching it. <laughs> well, wow. does that forfeit? The I'm money halfway for you? done, or is it is it the completion of the act? Uh, no, you can't do it. <laughs> you at can't. All. You can't just can't, edge. You can't edge yourself. No, you, <laughs> you're not like at home derfing yourself. I, I reckon, <laughs> dude. I I could do it for long enough to put down payment on a house. That's oh, yeah. not that. Oh, long. that's easy. I could do a fucking straight up. Month I can make. I could two. make an easy two years salary. I was I like, go, I couldn't go two years. I could. No, I could go two weeks. That would give me a cool like 150k. Yeah. That's fine. You'd be on such a hot streak. You'd be like, it's like a snap streak though. You'd want to like not do it. You'd be like, fuck it, man. I'm making, I'm making so I'm much make, money. Yeah, I'm making- <laughs> what do you do for work, man? I just don't touch myself. Just imagine like you go to a party and some chick is there like all up in your shit and you're like, no. Oh, I thought it was masturbation. Sta- same thing. Well, yeah, but I, mean, I don't know. Did you hear do the you- weird places I put the accents on that? <laughs> yeah, I did actually. I not- put the accents on the wrong parts of the word. <laughs> The masturbation. On the, ma- on the, ma- on the masturbation. Was, <laughs> now that you brought it up, it makes me really uncomfortable. Uh, um, yeah. No, but would that, like, I don't know, if somebody wanted to, like, jerk you off, would that count? Not, well, no, yeah. that's not masturbating. All right, so, you, so is the question really, that's would you That's a funny abstain? way to think about it, though. For every day being, you abstain. Being masturbated by someone else, that's, <laughs> I don't like that. Well, that's, that doesn't make sense, because, never mind. Okay. <laughs> that's a weird thought is that the question though final 10 grand 10 grand for every day you don't jerk off how long can you last I would honestly say I could probably go like if there's that much money involved I can go for like a month close to if I before it you're can, allowed to purge you can I can I can empty the system dry myself that'll out kill like, you wring out a towel that'll, that will kill you <laughs> you think yeah man don't try <laughs> don't find out don't try <laughs> no, well, okay. I think uh, I think there is a news story of a Brazilian kid who did it like forty two times in a day, died. <laughs> yeah, I saw. It. Like all I heard was the limit was forty one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're saying you could do a few months? A few no, I could maybe do like a month, probably. I feel like I, I think at that point though, if I if I touch the edge of a table, like I, I would have to. There would be a point where I would have to be in a like a, a padded room, probably. And like that couldn't be a wind because a slight breeze would probably be like oh oh there Damn, we go. Dude. I thought we were past that. I thought we were like adults now. I feel like you're I could go a three whole, weeks. I could do with it. abstain. Oh dude, because the money you're looking at all this income. Every I day. think if they put if every day they put a stack of ten bands like on the other side like in a in a glass case. But you know what makes it hard? I actually, see it. I didn't think about this. What are women like the most attracted by? Bands. Yeah. Well, Fetty. Like, 
the more money, more you acquire it, the more women will want you. And then you're going to be like, well, well fuck. I'm never going to have to jerk off again. But then you're never going to get that deal again. That's true. We've gotten way too into this. Did We're like, into the logistics. You just kind of, yeah, I think you, you got to, you're like, just wait, baby. Just give me like a month. I'm going to have like a bunch of money. <laughs> just hold out for like a month. I'm going to have bands. <laughs> bands. Dollars. Buckets. Duckets. All that. <laughs> um... One more and we'll get away from this. Uh, hmm. Someone who talks too much during sex or not at all? <laughs> what do you mean talk? <laughs> like, I don't know, any kind of vocalization. Moaning, whatever it is. Gr- gr- grunting. Have you ever experienced like a conversation whilst? Oh, yeah. Whilst, yeah. like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, of course. Just like, how, how was work today? You're I know, like, no, I know uh, what I'm choosing. I don't know. I'm curious about what you would choose. <laughs> You're a, a full on, like, someone who talks to, let's actually not say, to make it un- more uncomfortable, not someone who, like, a back and forth conversation. Someone who just, like, just does, exclaims, just does just the like, most vocally. Just, like, annoyingly too much talking versus dead silence. So all you can hear is, like, yeah, it's a new chair. It's not going to squeak for you, bud. Yeah, uh, that, no, that, that's fine. <laughs> um, I'll take silence. Really? Yeah, man. <laughs> Whoa. No, for real. Because I, <laughs> like I said but earlier, I'm a different beast. I'm a good di- lord. I'm a different beast. I could, I could just, you know, manufacture in my head noises. <laughs> like besides the, I can't do that man that's weird besides just the, all I'm hearing is just bodies touching yeah weird heavy nose breathing <laughs> that's I'm sorry oh <laughs> no I I need no fuck talk all you want but I can't do silence you, have you, you done silent bruh <laughs> like yeah I'm fucking mute <laughs> I'm nothing but focus when I'm in there <laughs> <laughs> she goes do you like that yep I'm not even yep <laughs> You're gonna have to watch the YouTube for that because all I did was nod while you know furling my brow. <laughs> mm. All right, let's get away. <laughs> Ew. Mm. Let's get away from these. Um, I guess on the topic of sex, so I came across the other day. Uh, I'm not gonna take full credit for this because I saw it on another uh, another podcast, but it was a good idea. Um, so Men's Health came out with a article uh, ranking. Let me see. Uh, Pornhub's top 10 searches of 2018. I'd like to hear these. They're pretty, they're good. They're funny. Uh, Some of them are not shocking. Some of them are pretty weird. Okay. And this is, okay. So this is top searched terms. Is this 10 to one kind of we're going? Uh, Yeah. I'll go from 10 to one. Okay. Uh, Number 10, threesome. That's valid. Valid. That's pretty valid. That's normal. Not something I usually look up if I came across a good one. Honestly, for me, I'm just it's like just like browsing YouTube. If the thumbnail's good, I'm probably gonna click on it. True. If it's like a good high quality thumbnail. Yeah, it's in the thumbnail. And like the person I can, if I can see their face and they're hot, I'm probably gonna click on it. The devil's in the details. Um, this one's weird. I'm gonna <laughs> This is number nine. This is number nine. Um Bowsette. Pardon me? Are you familiar? Or no? No, I'm not Okay. So it is some, I think it's like an anime character. Um, like Mario related? That's what it sounds uh, like. Let me see. I can't remember. It's like anime or like hand, hentai or some shit. Um, this girl. That. Her. The fuck? So yeah, it's like uh, anime. Wow. Yeah. I guess, Oh, it is a Mario thing. Yeah, it's a Super Mario Bros. Is kind of that's number nine. That was it. That's that's number nine most searched wow. from 2018. Weird. I'm actually gonna screenshot that so I can put it in the uh, thing. What? Um, wow, weird. But yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So that just doesn't. We're maybe we're just old timey. You know, maybe that's all these like young kids who have iPads. Oh, it gets worse. And get into that. What's number eight? So number eight, a Tinder. Tinder. I. I like so I guess it's like a role play type thing. I've seen it before. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen it and I've clicked on it. Click on one or two. Where I was like, oh met like bang my Tinder date on the first night, that type of shit. And it's supposed to be like some amateur handheld shit where it's just like this. Like that. 
<laughs> some of that shit. Um, yeah, it's kind of like that. Nothing really special. Kind of boring, in my opinion, really. I'd say of the these first three, not not things. None of them are really. I'm looking for no. Uh, number seven, tattoos. Okay. Okay. You can see that. Like that's pe- kind people of, dig tattoo that's chicks. That's appealing. Girls dig tattooed dudes. Yeah, I can see that. Number six, outdoors. I can also see that. That's kind of hot. Outdoor stuff. I can get it. I can get on that train. I, I have gotten on that train. I like public Public stuff. I understand. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like you said in the last episode, just, I don't know. Not for me. No. Uh, you've done it outside, though. Are you guilty of doing it outside? Totally incriminating yourself saying you've done it in a public place. <laughs> Oh. I have. I lost my virginity outside. Gross. In a public place. Yeah, man. Wasn't that like your elementary school? No. Okay. No. Not that you were in elementary <laughs> school. <laughs> no, but that's even weirder. <laughs> Doing it when I'm like you were, well out of the you school. You were the right age, but it was at a school. No, it was outside of our, our high school. Our past high school. That's cool. <laughs> I like that idea. That's very... That's like a movie. Yeah, some cute shit. Yeah, me or, or shit face walking home from a party. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Very relatable. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what do we number five? Number five, trans. Totally, we are in that. We are knee deep in that movement. So we yeah, are I in can that. See how that's, that's popular. That's like people are not even like weirded out by that anymore. No, that's, not even. That's everywhere. Uh, when it's not in the title, it shocks me a little bit because I'm oh, not and, prepared for it. And then you're like, oh, and I'm like, oh, oh. that's it. Oh, she's got a penis. You're like, okay. Oh, okay. These are the roles. All right. Let me fast forward. Let's get the pronouns right now. <laughs> let me see where this goes. <laughs> I'm going to see where this goes. Hey, man, Who good, finishes first? Good for you. <laughs> good for you for seeing that through. Um, number four, romantic. <laughs> for those little, I think that for the lovey-dovey, the couples that want to watch porn together, that That's type so of shit. That's so sad. <laughs> romantic? Why? How? I don't know. Just someone in bed with a laptop on their chest. Just like looking at sex love stories. Like. <laughs> Romantic, and they got a glass. Of they wine. they want to see the girl get caressed, and really loved. <laughs> you roll, you rolled your eyes. <laughs> Ugh. Like, why are you on Pornhub? <laughs> There's no in between, dude. You're either you're loving and like it's literally a video of just making out, or she's getting choked. It's one of the <laughs> literally nobody watches the entire thing. They just skip to minute eight oh eight minutes twenty three yeah. seconds. You're like, skip oh. all the blowjob. Skip that. <laughs> Ah, oh, here's the butt part. I like that. <laughs> ah, bingo. Romantic. <laughs> Romantic doesn't belong. Trans, I get it. Okay. This one was kind of weird. Uh, 4K. This is for the, <laughs> this is for like the camera nerds. I don't know why anybody would want to watch porn in 4K. It's gross. Uh, is the next one VR? <laughs> I'm surprised it's not. I feel it's like not that, on the that's going to be 2019 for sure. Uh, I'm putting the money in now. That's going to be 2019. At the end of VR this year. Stuff. VR. Yeah. yeah gonna be because it's becoming more popular it's always in the relateds where it's just like some chick flicking her bean with a with a massive headset on and then stepbrother slips his wiener and you're like whoa what (laughs) where did that come from oh god let's get through this all right um number two this is where it got weird Fortnite. (laughs) no this one i i didn't agree with this one i didn't like this one one bit and I said, what do you think, what do you think it is? Uh, either it could be them in like some sort of Fortnite skin getting, having sexed with. <laughs> Unlocked a new skin. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or them just playing a video game and then. I think it's a, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of like cosplay. Oh my God. It's or like it's like, stuff. or it's like animated shit. Yeah, it is. No, it's like, it's, it's like animated stuff. Like, you know how <laughs> some people will like animate like family guy and shit like that. Yeah, like hot cartoon characters, Kim ads. Possible's mom and whatever that type of shit. Yeah, they'll like create that stuff. But I, yeah, so they do that with with Fortnite, I guess, and then also I um like cosplay and whatever, which is weird. Is that the number one? That's number two. Fortnite. Number one's boring. Number one, just say it. Stormy Daniels, and that's only because of her controversy. But I don't find her appealing whatsoever. Hmm. Weird. Not in top her. ten. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But keep in mind, that was just the most searched terms, not the most searched, like, categories, I guess. It gives, yeah, most searched terms of 2018, lesbian, okay, I don't know. 
uh, most viewed categories. Lesbian, Japanese, MILF, Duh. ebony, yeah, no shit. Uh, hentai, anal, mature, threesome, big tits, big dick. Uh, that's for all the, f- most of the females out there, probably. <laughs> Actually, no, it could be for, for some of the males, too. Uh, amateur, teen, trans, cream pie, nice. You know what? I'm going to just say good for people for just kind of putting their, their thoughts on paper and the t- turning them into pornography. The bottom three, Indian, these are all separate. <laughs> That's not going to be like an Indian gangbang. Indian, comma, gangbang, bondage. Bondage is uh, fallen la- kind of... Last. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not last. It's still up there. It's like top 20. We're about equality. <laughs> an Indi- yeah, Indian gangbang is oddly specific. <laughs> all right. What's next? No, that's it. That was all I wanted to read. Um, gives you a lot of stats, though. Wow. Every minute on Pornhub... Uh, 207,000 videos are viewed, 10 and a half thousand hours of video are watched, 57, almost 58,000 searches, uh, videos upload. Let's see, see if there's anything interesting in here. That's kind of, there's friend requests on, uh, Pornhub. Oh yeah. Man, it is really covering all the bases. Pornhub's going to be the next social media, like networking app <laughs> for sure. It's it's going to be just this conglomerate that blends Facebook and YouTube clearly because you have friend requests now and a video uploader that people are starting to upload normal videos too. It's weird. But I think it's going in that direction, man. No. I think so. Just I think uh, the term but I think the term like I don't know, porn is still so like negatively looked upon. It's getting better, but I think I don't know. Wow, every minute there's 55 views on Kim K's sex tape. I didn't know that. Every minute, wow. It's the, it's the most viewed video on the website, cool. on the platform. It's got like 130 to 150 million something views. Her and Raymond J. Her and Ray, Raymond J. What else is next on your list there okay. besides Pornhub? <laughs> Let's get off the porn. That stuff is disgusting. Okay. Actually, I'd like to point out this is the first episode I'm not wearing a hoodie. Because I was running out. <laughs> I ran what were you out. wearing in episodes one and th- one to one through three? Uh, I don't remember. I think I was wearing just like a probably a hoodie actually. I think I was wearing a hoodie. The ones that aren't on camera. Yeah. Those ones. Yeah. Who the fuck cares? It's just me. Those episodes don't exist. I'm just a ball buster. Yeah. What's next? <laughs> but every episode I've had a hoodie on and same hat. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've switched the hat. I'm, once. I'm the same way, man. You go through my the Instagram. Hat once. I'm a big like one hat pony. Yeah, I switched the hat once. I had another, the gray one, but it, it's gross now. Um, also, a little bit of a, uh, I'll bring this up. Any camera nerds out there that knows, there's probably, if you're watching this, there's probably a red dot somewhere on the screen floating around my face somewhere. It's probably, I think it's been like that since episode four. I think you're the only guy who notices that. No, Lyle pointed it out too. Oh, he's a camera nerd though. <laughs> cool. Well, if, Lyle, if you know how to fix this, man, let me know. Because there's just a red dot floating somewhere around. It's usually sitting like on the microphone. I wonder if I can see it. No, I can't. This TV sucks. Uh, but if anyone knows how to fix, anybody knows how to fix that, let me know. That'd be great. You know, it's a good um, place to find camera people. A camera store. Mix, mix connection. <laughs> <laughs> can I do one? Yeah. Hit, yeah. Sure. Cause you, yeah, you found one. You're right? looking for stuff. I like I like every couple of weeks doing a misconnection. Sure, I found one that was help. Let's help help a poor helpless no, person some, out. No, a lot of these people are beyond help. <laughs> Jake, I'm. Uh, I don't know. What to gonna tell be you. honest with you. <laughs> We're gonna go all the way out east to Hartford, Connecticut. Ooh, home of the Whalers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> this one's titled Shark Week Fan. You okay. love Shark Week. It's coming up. Tell me what's your favorite part. And there's no information given. That's it? it. That's it. Seriously? <laughs> That's it. I'll let you read it. You can post this. You can screenshot it and put it on the thing. <laughs> wow. Re- oh, oops. <laughs> God damn it. Did you screenshot it again? No. Just put in your password here. Thanks, buddy. Huh. <laughs> 
Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'll just... I forgot how to screenshot on these phones. Well, God damn. I, it is <laughs> I got a screen, it. It is a screenshot. Is it? Oh. You just screenshot a screenshot. I did, yeah. <laughs> you can delete that one. You dummy. But yeah, I'll send it that to you. That's funny. What? How do you... How did... Is it a... This is our first question. Man to woman or woman to man? Or right? What are you man seeking? To man? Shark to shark? Who's seeking... <laughs> Shark to human to shark. Like shark frat guy? It's like, yo, shark week is coming up. All the shark pledges are about to rush our... <laughs> a human writing to a shark. <laughs> You're a huge fan of shark week. That's his, like, 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> there, it's just, the, the theme is just Seems desperate right. people. But, like, what? You like shark week. A, very vague... And how did it come up in conversation? Right? What the fuck? Even a little bit. And this dude, there's no info. Nothing at all. That's it. I love it. I love it. This one is, if this one's boring, edit it out, but I think it's fun. Okay. It's called 420 and chill. (laughs) And he's writing it like he talks this way. Like if you're familiar with an old 80s movie called Fast Times at Ridgemont High, he talks like Jeff Spicoli. (laughs) He's like, we used to be like, where all the cool, good-looking girls at? Uh, <laughs> oh, is that what that says? <laughs> no, but I added in the last. Oh, okay. <laughs> Attractive male missing a female to kick it and smoke. Hit me up with a picture and number and I'll reply. Make sure to include number and I'll text you. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> this guy sounds like he sucks. He's a long way away from Venice Beach. <laughs> Where's this from? Where's this one this from? This is also from Connecticut. Ooh. <laughs> You're not from the right place to be talking like that. I want to do I want to do one last one. This one's okay. a funny one to me because I feel like it's not a human who wrote it. <laughs> this is a sentient dog with an oh. iPad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Are you ready for this? Okay. You got to this one you can put on the screen. You got it. Belly rub at Staples. This one's from North Van. No, that's from here. <laughs> yeah, this is a dog for sure. <laughs> we talked for for a wee bit in the North Vancouver Isle of in the North Vancouver Isle of Staples. Fuck off. What? This dog this th- person thinks like a dog. <laughs> when you said you would like to find someone to give a belly rub, my tongue must have slipped into the far back of my mouth. <laughs> Is if that's not a dog's reaction to any? <laughs> She's gonna rub my belly. He said, "I said nothing." Damn it! Whoa! I told you where we were going next, and when I got there, I was hoping you would have shown up there too. And that's the end of it. I'm just thinking the last bit is him like wagging his tail. He's like, "I'm gonna get a belly rub." <laughs> I'm going there for a belly rub. <laughs> it's it's way le- It's way more innocent to think about him being just a. A good boy. <laughs> a little good boy. You know? <laughs> that's, oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right. It's, but it's, sadly, this is a human being. <laughs> that's unfortunate, man. I know. <laughs> Isn't it weird how sco- scooters are relevant again? Scooters? I saw a bunch of them lately. Up, oh, And we're back. Anyways, uh, fuck. Scooters. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Scooters. Scooters. Uh, I've seen a shitload of them lately. And tons of fun. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're awesome. Well, they were fun when we were kids. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of neat to see them coming back in style like they are. It is. And not but the electronic ones that everyone's fucking raving about these days. The manual ones. <laughs> Those ones. Mm-hmm. But if I may... Actually, no, let, I want you to get into you your may. point, and then I want to tear it apart. Was that just your point? That was kind of it. Okay. I was just like really fascinated at the fact that they're kind of back in style. Let's think about this. Kind of cool. I used to love those. So did I. I rode a scooter until I was old enough to know that scootering was super lame and <laughs> skateboarding was cooler. Yeah. Unless you weren't a pro. Well, pro scootering wasn't a thing when we were kids. No. Not a, not skateboarding is still cooler. That's a millennial thing. Skateboarding is cooler. Mm-hmm. I didn't skateboard. I couldn't skate. So I rode a BMX bike, which is just, you know. Scooters? Okay, sorry. Scooters? Scooters. BMX bikes. Skateboarding. Surfing. Really? Surfing's fucking cool. Can you surf? No. Well, See? I mean, I honestly haven't tried it. Wouldn't Surfing know. is cool. Wouldn't know. I haven't tried it. Name, name, haven't had the name an uncool surfer. 
Ooh, I don't know what, even a cool surfer. <laughs> Okay, well that's <laughs> fair. But I would just say the comparison for a, a guy, a teenager who's like still like scootering and not skating, is like the guy who fucking rides a bike. Get a car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, grow up. Straight up, grow <laughs> up. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. If you're not a pro scooterer, just like don't scooter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're not professional, fucking just, just don't drop do it. it. Just stop doing it. Just stop. Yeah. They're not like they were when we were kids either. Like the Razor scooters were dope. Razor. Razor. I thought you said Racer. Race, no, Razor. Razor scooters yeah. were the jizz. What color was yours? Silver. And well, they came in other well, colors. No, but the wheels were different colors. Oh, I don't fucking I think they're just clear. I had. Uh, Until I braked too hard and, and rode and it rode them in. Yeah. Wow. I. <laughs> <laughs> You will uh, make me happy. I wore them all the way. I wore it all the way through. I think I had orange. Uh, that's kind of tight. Orange is cool. Oh, the neighbors though, they had the set, man. They had the blue, red, and like black. And I was like, nice. Yeah. So I used to be friends with a guy who uh rode like dirt BMX. He was like a BMX racer. Oh, yeah. That was track, cool. Like track, track racing. racing. Yeah, that's an Olympic sport. What cool thing. is it really? Yeah. What a cool thing to be into. Yeah. And then he moved away. I remember going to his races and that was cool. They let me ride the track ones. I felt fucking t- t- super cool. Yeah. Except like they make it look so easy. Like going through the rhythm sections down, and yeah. stuff. It's they so got- smooth and you're like, I have no idea what I'm doing. They have just, they're so quick. I don't know. His garage was sick. It was just bikes everywhere. For like a kid, that's sick. For yeah. an adult, that's sad. Oh, for, no, yeah. <laughs> No, it was like, it was dope. There was like hella bikes all over the walls, all the parts and stuff. It was set up like a kid's version of like an adult garage. Just like <laughs> it was bikes instead of cars. Yeah. But it was like Mastercraft tool, like drawer toolboxes, thousands of dollars worth like of stuff. Codename Kids Next Door. But <laughs> for real. One thing I did want to ask, well, eh, not really. I don't know. We're into a, I don't know, a good rhythm with this thing, I guess. And I was like. What if we started making like actual YouTube videos and just sell out completely? Yeah, but we tried that with Vine, didn't work. Yeah, I don't know. We did round two, just like total sellout reaction channel, and just do just react to shit. Keith reacts to what Jake just said. No, no, no. no? That's a hard, hard no go. That's a bummer. Maybe thought it could have been funny. I feel like that's when we come up with the funniest stuff is when we're reacting to something we see right in front of us. That's what you mean? Yeah, like you, we sit in front. Why? We have everything we need. That was you. <laughs> I know. I was Still waiting you. for it to come up. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Watch some weird shit and, and just fucking comment on it in front of a camera. That is, that is often funny. When it's thought provoking right in front of your face, it's like you can usually come up with way more funny stuff. Yeah, because I feel like we're finding difficulty recalling the, the annals. <laughs> this of isn't our, funny because our delivery sucks. No, it's it's <laughs> actually really good, but it's just uh, we can't remember the details. My of memory, our, yeah, my memory recalls our greatest stories. Awful. Some of the greatest, because <laughs> some of the greatest actually came out when we were fucking. You're a huge alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> you were really on the wagon between 2012 and 15. <laughs> you just outed yourself as a minor. Just <laughs> um, yeah, you're. How was that like? <laughs> Being a huge alcoholic. I'm just kidding, guys. He doesn't drink. <laughs> Fucking with you. We're we're, we're both. People he doesn't don't. drink, we don't, and, and I really just drink much. don't find the time to drink, but I, I do enjoy it. When I get the opportunity, I like to. Uh, I don't know why. It's fucking awful. It's terrible. And it's expensive. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I, think like, it, I think because I rarely do it now, I, the novelty of it wore off, like when we, I think you said last episode, when we used to fucking just like two or three times a week, we're just here, drinking all the time. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, man. And then... It just kind of, I don't know. There was nothing special about it. And then you're like, now it's maybe like once a month. Yeah. And I was like, dude, 12 times a year. That money goes a, goes the distance. The stuff you're saving, man. Yeah. And then you blow it the next time. The once a month you go out or immediately. <laughs> and then it's like, fuck, dude. God damn. 
but yeah, it's like once a month. So you're like, all right, I'm going I'm like, this is, I'm going, I'm going ham. I'm going to have a couple of sodas, a few more sodas. than a few more sodas than usual and go get pretty litty fam. Is that your first drink of choice would be a vodka soda. Ugh. Vodka, I hate soda. Seven. Then. Yeah. Vodka seven. Uh, vodka seven's like the club drink for me. A, cause it's clear. So if somebody spills it on you, you're not going to see it. That's kind of the main reason why I started drinking it. Hmm. Yeah. Because in nightclubs, it's fucking awful. That's true. Like you get a, like a Coke, a vodka Coke or a rum and Coke or whatever. White t-shirt. Wear a white Bad t-shirt. News. A, I don't, I don't wear white to clubs anymore. Really. I try not to I wear darker colors, but, uh, yeah, I don't really drink like darker liquids. I try to drink, to keep it, cl- keep it clear. So if somebody inevitably bumps into you, it's not going to be seen too, too bad on your clothing. So, I don't know. And it's been like, fuck, going out on Sunday? That should be uh, St. Pat- St. Patrick's Day? At the Roxy, nonetheless. Yeah. Going to the Roxy again. If you can get on to Barstool Vancouver for doing something really cool. Mm, that's, that's not something I want to be in the background of some guy getting fucking <laughs> it's not something I want to be on I wish I got into the background of uh, the guy we know just dissing that <laughs> just curving that shit I'm not gonna shame what kind of body type she was she was she was subjectively a little bit thicker I'll say that I feel like you're not gonna want to put that in this episode why I don't know that's, mad. that's not fat shaming at all you're, people are allowed to be fat. That's true. <laughs> You're allowed to be fat. It's like they exist. I'm not going to hide the fact that fat people exist. I'm fat. That's why I sit the way I do. <laughs> <laughs> sit with good posture. <laughs> um, and also wear this why we're hoodies. <laughs> but like, no, they exist. And subjectively, she was a bigger person. Nothing to it. <laughs> There's the double standard. I think the guy, that we, the guy that I'm talking about, though, because he's such a small man. <laughs> the the uh, juxtaposition. But seriously, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, you make you like it when I, you have to edit names out. I think we should make a bet for one week. I can't go a week without swearing, and you can't go a week without saying someone's name that I have to blur out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't swear. You can't say any names. I mean, if that's the case, should I just get my fill right now? And then just the next bit. Like, no. The next 10 seconds just. Because just, I'm just going to have to scrap everything. No, not. A, no, okay. I'm not now. I feel like next. If we. In an episode in the future. We, okay. want to. we can do it that way. But not now. I'm not mentally prepared for that. I need to like look through a thesaurus for like replacement words. Because that makes up a good 30% of my vocabulary. His cuss words. Cussing? Cuss words. <laughs> um, when was the last time you've actually been in, not counting the Roxy, which for anyone who's not from Vancouver is uh, best described as a country bar? Yeah, no? No, just on that one night. Not country, yeah, I, I guess. It's a, it's a, it's a bar. It's a cabaret. It's a cabaret, I guess. Yeah, sure. To me, cabaret sounds so, like, naughty. <laughs> It's like a gentleman's club type thing. To me, it sounds like just a show theater. Okay. That's a good way to describe it. Bands play there. It's usually like rock and whatever. It'd be like rock or country on Sundays. Yeah. So you're going to ask. When was the last time you've been to like an actual nightclub? It wasn't the Roxy. That's a super good question, man. It's been a while. That's a really. Is it like when I used to work there? Um, So three over three years ago. Damn. Dude. Not counting anywhere in Gastown. So, yeah, like all those weird social... I'm not counting like social... Like the Bourbon houses. wasn't a club either. No, Bourbon that was that was more country bar than the Roxy. It was a good spot too. I'm talking like Caprice, Joe's, which is now studio, uh, venue. Um, hmm. Dude, for kind real? Uh, no, I can't re- remember the last time I went to it. Definitely. Okay. It's definitely over three years ago then for sure. The only really story I can distinctly remember the top list. Remember is when oh, fuck. Boop, <laughs> got roofied. Remember we were, we were on the ledge by the dance floor cause we couldn't get a booth and we all put our drinks there and we're going to, okay, I'll bleep, I'll bleep this one out, but I'm so curious. Who is this again? I don't remember this. You weren't there. 
it, I, you were there. I feel like I was physically there. You not were physically there. You, maybe you got <laughs> yeah, I got too. it too. Um, but the whole group of friends, we were putting our drinks to the side, and this dude was just, in, you know, yeah. It was. It wasn't a serious thing. He was just like, yeah. He's like, I, I've been drugged, so he just went home. <laughs> Free drugs. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's crazy. Where was that? Uh, that was. Event. Mm. Venue. Capris. That was. That was venue. Oh, I shouldn't do that. That was venue. What? What I'm doing with my headphones? No, me. <laughs> um, man, I don't remember that at all. That's crazy. Um. Fuck, I lost my train of thought. We lost <laughs> the audio stopped recording and I've totally lost my train of thought now. Um the what the fuck were we talking about? Clubs. Yeah. I used to work there. Yeah. Um so I used to work in nightclubs when I was like 20. Yeah. Cuz I spent so much of my first legal year, 19, in nightclubs. Where I was like, fuck it, I'll just get paid to be down. You actually sent me the link. Oh, to become a promoter? Yeah, you sent me that shit. That's crazy. <laughs> like, you sent me, like, you're like, here, talk to this guy. I don't know how you knew of this company. It was just so weird. I was like, all right. Man, I was a man about town, apparently. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I don't know what happened. Good yeah, Lord. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, so I applied, and yeah, and then, yeah, I ended up working for this company downtown for, like, five different nightclubs from, like, when I was 20 to almost 23. And fuck me, did it ruin clubbing. <laughs> Sure does, man. It absolutely ruined clubbing. And because you see just like the dark side of the whole thing. And like you see how gross dudes are and how yeah. nasty girls can get. It's, oh, fuck. Yeah, people. Like at the amount of hallways I've walked into, just like dudes getting blown back there and just like hallways they're not supposed to be in. And like stairwells that you thought weren't there. Next thing you know, the, literally the amount of times that we've stood outside of a place, a nightclub that shall remain nameless, and, and uh, there's like a door and a sterile right on the other side of the door, and that's like a hidden spot where like you would take girls. I mean, I think you can say the name because it's changed owners. Uh, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I'm worried about no. outing all the people I still know that use it. Oh, well, it's known as a stairwell, is it? Yeah, but I'm not going to say which place. <laughs> only, only industry. Am I folk. still on right now? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Fuck. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna turn you down a little bit. <laughs> God damn. Uh, no, no, no. Anyways, enough nightclub talk. Because I can't remember really any many. I remember being kicked out of a few. I got kicked out on your birthday. That night was fucking wild for me. Yeah, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was the night I got naked. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got you were you were naked for some reason. And we're like, yeah, fuck this guy. We locked you outside of the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> with a with a hand towel, yeah. And yeah. look, man, I wanted a robe and like a high school girls basketball team two rooms over, which over here almost catching a charge. Yikes! Fuck. Thanks, guys. Our Kelly pulling up to end up. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> you got any of them teen burgers? <laughs> Speaking of catching a charge, so I'm at the mall last week, roaming around, and this Asian lady. And I know you're going to be like, well, why does she have to be Asian? Because she was. That's what she <laughs> was. <laughs> because she fucking was. Because she was. She was Asian. And she's sitting there on her phone doing like the one finger text thing. Okay. In her skirt. And like, that's it. I should Like, that's it. Just, this is, was the posture. Just as, as spread, as man spread as my legs are right now. That's what it was. It was really rough. And, like, she wasn't wearing anything underneath. Oh, dude. I'm like, why? 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 I don't like this story at You're all. You're in a place, a public place, where many children are. Because I, I looked at my watch because I was curious. And Those it was kids like don't know what they're doing. It was like 3.05. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's how it is in their country. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm literally sitting there. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Nobody's going to say anything about this? Cause I'm, and then I'm like, all right. So this chick can sit in a <laughs> <laughs> rock up and be like, uh, dude. Uh, dude. So this chick, and then I was like, all right, so this chick can sit here with her fucking cooch out. How old? Oh, like maybe in her 50s. Bruh, come on. Not pretty. It was not pretty at all. Yeah, maybe in her 50s, sitting here with her cooch out, and then I'm like, dude, what the fuck? What a double standard. They can sit there and do that, and nobody's going to say anything. Guys, take one drunken piss in a playground at 3 a.m., and next thing you know, they're on the fucking register. Well, it's because it was at a fucking playground. At 3 a.m.? I'm, I'm not defending who, myself who here. Who was on the register? I'm saying that's like it happens. 
Weird topic to be on. <laughs> I'm not defending myself here because I'm not on the fucking register, but I've seen it happen. One yeah. ill-advised drunken piss. Making a Rob Kelly is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Look, one ill-advised drunken piss and next thing you know, boom, you're fucked. Don't drink. So bad for you. Don't pee in parks. Just hold it. Wait till you're somewhere else a little bit safer. Where is this coming from? What? That's, no, this was like the point that I was thinking about when I saw this chick's kuka. And I'm like, yo, there's kids walking around here at that height. Ew, I, nonetheless. I, it makes me want to gag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hearing the story, I just want to gag. <laughs> oh, man. Did you see the Chris D'Elia, um complex, like go shop, sneaker shopping with complex thing? No. It's actually, it's kind of funny, but it's also not that funny. <laughs> He's, because, you know. He says some funny things because he, he, I guess, doesn't have like he doesn't he was complaining how he doesn't get sent free shit. And he's like, he's like, I'm fucking like, I'm famous, I'm famous as fuck. <laughs> he's like my fucking he's like my homie's got a podcast and they send him fucking free shit. He's like, why? Chris Delia's podcast is big. No, it is. But he's not talking about him. He's talking about like his friend who like has a podcast. Literally his sole content is a podcast. And he's like, they send him free shit. Why? He's like, why do you get free stuff? He's like, you have a fucking podcast. Why? Yeah, Chris is. <laughs> but like, they, he's like, they don't send me shit. Chris is like, and he's. A, I would say he's well known, one of the top comedians, definitely in the world right now, for sure, absolutely. Mm-hmm. The more I watch his specials, the funnier I think they are. In IMO, in my opinion, <laughs> you had a good idea with all this stuff. Actually, I was thinking about this the other day when you're like, "Yo, we fucking bought all this stuff. We should open up a studio." we eventually get our own space <laughs> should definitely open up a little spot I think it'd be cool we could, we could produce the next y, YMCA Nelly or whatever the guy's name is <laughs> Y&W <laughs> you know A&W Smelly <laughs> I hate how that's a part of like new rap music is all these like rap collectives <laughs> Y&W YBN are those what do you mean collective like groups like those little rap groups that they, I don't know what it is. I could be rap groups. I'm super white, so it could be gangs. I don't know. <laughs> like, yo, why are they advertising like, their gang <laughs> in their name? That's weird. You just take a a well known business that's an acronym and then add a name to it. Most just be like, yo, I'm KLM Moses. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, Royal Dutch Airlines gang. Nice. <laughs> Most of the names I can't repeat because they have the N word in them. Oh, so I can't say them. Like YBN, uh, YRN. Uh, yeah, YBN, I think. I thought that was a name. I thought that was like y- a cool y- take on the Yibin? name on Ibn. I feel like that's a name. It's not. Well, no, because YBN is Namir and Almighty J, and whoever else. They're just the two that happened to make it. Why <laughs> Almighty J got fucked up last week? Who? He got this guy YBN Almighty J. He's some fucking just another kid, but he got fucking jumped last week. <laughs> Just such a violent life he lives. Dude, it's like so weird. And like they split his face open. He got like 33 stitches down the side of his face. For for some reason, I don't know why. I'm not exactly sure why. The, I haven't really looked at it. but Because he, he didn't recognize the other gang. Clearly, there's no respect on anybody's name around the, <laughs> around those parts. I don't know. They I, Fuck, they just caught him on the street. They caught him lacking, dude. They caught him lacking. Us in, in the trenches here and little fucking. Oh, yeah, for real, dude. On gang. I would never do that to one of my homies. <laughs> Ugh. Dude, for real. On gang. We out here in the trenches. <laughs> Ride or die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on, man. Say it say it back. <laughs> Good night, say it back. <laughs> say it, you're not gonna you're not gonna ride? I mean, bad boys for life. <laughs> you don't have a jacket, and I'm pretty low on gas. <laughs> There's one of our ma- that gas potential money, though. <laughs> got that gas money. <laughs> we got one more, or has it been? Oh, fuck. Has it been a slice? On the Almighty J topic, I fucking I thought of this weeks ago because somebody brought it up. Because somebody talked, I think uh, somebody got mugged, and I was like, "Fuck! Imagine like what mugging's gonna turn into in the future." Like, it's going to be... Imagine being mugged for crypto. <laughs> like, 
I don't think you, you get, can. You get jumped in the street. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, imagine getting jumped. You're like walking home at night. And what used to be like, yo, give me your wallet. Give me your wallet. <laughs> it's like, imagine just like, yo, whip out your cash app right now and just like e-transfer me like five bands. Really? You think um, that's how it go? I think so. Well, how else do you think My My mind was thinking like... Like, yo, Venmo me... 3,000 right now. No, man, like, homie, I'll blow your fucking homie is being held hostage in, like, a MMO. Like, he's on World of Warcraft, and he's like, give me point zero zero three Bitcoin, or I'll fucking decapitate <laughs> your you orc. Go. Your orc ass, you know. Oh, man, people trading real money for, like, in video games? Oh, that'd be fucked. Honestly, it's probably happened, though. Ready Player One is actually a pretty accurate kind portrayal of, of like, that. the yeah. future. I don't know if you saw that movie. I heard about it. It's, I haven't got around to it. It's like fun for the for the geek in your life, mm. but you could watch it. I mean, I'll yeah. probably watch it. It has entertainment value. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Triple Frontier is the next one. Yeah, I need to watch that. Mm. Yeah, you you see you watched it right? I would assume. No, dude, you're, I watched the first like ten. minutes. I was like, you're I, recommending a movie you didn't even. No, watch. dude, the first ten minutes, I'm I'm hooked. Yeah, it's, you got ten minutes into it, dude. At first scene. Uh, some, <laughs> I was exhausted. <laughs> some cool dudes, and then they go to like Colombia, and they're blasting some sweet music, going on a raid, and then the gang starts playing music from their clubhouse because you know the cops think, oh, we got this in the bag, we got them surrounded, and the gang starts blasting their like Chicano music, and you're like, uh oh. What gang t- is this? Gang? It's like it's like, it's a, like cartel a cartel Mexican, thing. Mexican gang. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm into it already. Thanks. Yeah, that's your that's your <laughs> shit. It's literally it's right up my alley. <laughs> like our favorite game. Tom Clancy, Ghost Recon, Wildland. Dude. dude. Count me in, dude. Can you still sing pretty well? I like or to can think you I can. sing me a tune real quick? No. I want to hear myself sing. To yourself. You. Why and you sing me. Why would I sing if you want to hear yourself? All right, pick a song. No. I'm not singing right now. We're not no, wasting pick, the time. Pick. I don't sing well. You can you can delete this. I just want to hear myself sing. We can have <laughs> dead space. You I don't want to. It hits in that Melly shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't even do it badly. <laughs> I can't do it as badly as he did it. <laughs> Just did it normally. Oh man. Oh yeah, that was really bad, dude. Um. Uh, oh, what was that funny ass shit that Lyle sent? What the fuck? Producer oh. Lyle producing. Yeah, he hit That's us with what some, he does. That's what he did shit earlier. The f- where the fuck was it? Um. Uh, oh. <laughs> That video of so I'm pretty into this guy Roddy Rich right now. Who's Roddy Rich? Uh, Describe him to me. Fuck, dude. I don't know. the The song that I said hits every checkbox for me. Okay, that song Project Dreams. He's that guy. Mm-hmm. So he's like all mel. He's melody, but he's bars and whatever. Anyways, he's got a couple of good songs. I'm pretty into it. So that video that Lyle sent of Russ trying to get on stage <laughs> was fucking hilarious, oh, dude. Man. What a buster! <laughs> like, what the fuck? Because, like, the video, I mean, granted, the video doesn't provide any context, but, like, he jumps up from in front of the stage, like, off the side, like, where a fan would try and sneak on. Yeah. And with his hood up, you can't see his hair, you can't see his face. I honestly didn't think it was Russ Are you when I watched it. it on the thing after editing? Uh, yeah, I'll put it, I'll put it in. <laughs> well, actually, I don't think I've seen it. <laughs> and then the whole entourage jumps in but oh like he did, that didn't look like him at all and like why it wouldn't have taken two seconds to be like uh hey motherfucker like take it, off your hood, I'm Russ dumb, dumb. he just called me up there and said he looks sus as fuck like so sus and he then does. he's he does, just like man. That what very, the fuck? He looks super suspect. And he just makes himself look like more of a goof than he already is, man. I don't care. It's weird to think that that guy has like goons on his squad. Shooters. Right? <laughs> yeah, but his shooters are kind of like, yeah, they're kind of whack I too. I don't think Bruno Mars has that either. They jumped some dude at some festival and it was whack. You like violent music. What? You like violent music. I don't like rock. <laughs> <laughs> Every music, all music these days is violent. God damn it. Um, We're way over time. We are, yeah. This is actually going to be a little bit of a longer episode because there's not going much getting cut out of this. 
Really? Yeah. It's actually kind of funny. Oh. Let's hope. But should we wrap it up, though? Yeah, because the, cam- the camera gave up on us. So Yeah. We're going to wrap it up this week, guys. We'll see you later. Adios. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of JK's Just a Podcast. We sure hope you enjoyed it. If you like what we do and support the podcast, please donate to the Patreon for exclusive bonus content at patreon.com slash just a podcast or hit the link in the description of this video. You can also listen to the episodes on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify. And don't forget to leave that five-star review. It is greatly appreciated and helps us out a ton. Follow us on Twitter at JK underscore just a podcast and Instagram at JK's Just a Podcast. Until next week, take care, everybody. Peace out.